Last week, we put a little bit of a focus on Rigetti Computing and their contributions to the quantum computing space. Fantastic company, great operations, lots to offer. This week, we want to focus a little bit differently on another player that's also up and coming, very interesting, that's also been around for quite a while. D-Wave Quantum Inc., or D-Wave for short, been around since 1999 when they were formed. Uh, and went public via a SPAC vehicle in 20, July of 2023. So not a long life of trading on the markets, but it's out there and it's been a roller coaster for D-Wave uh, as well. You could have gotten this company, purchased it for just under a dollar a share just back in October. And, and now it's rocketed uh, immensely at over $2.70 a share. So a lot of volatility. Uh, but it's also generating a lot of interest in the space. And why? Because D-Wave is another uh, leader and developer of quantum computing system software and services. D-Wave focuses probably more on the traditional annealing method uh, or the classical computing method to solve and work through problems. And they focus more on applications which the customer will then use on their cloud-based type uh, systems to access their computers. So a little bit different from Rigetti in that perspective as well, but yet compelling enough because there's not one size fits all for, for the next wave of computing or supercomputing that is, that is coming our way. And we don't know where that market's gonna end up. So what else is going on with D-Wave? They also caught fire this month. Um, hey, it's, there's been a lot of interest in high-tech type companies, smaller cap type companies, but D-Wave was also given a designated um, award status by the Department of Defense, which means that they are deemed eligible to receive a contract or award from the Department of Defense. Uh, this is a pretty big deal. This is a great certification and will probably open a lot more doors for D-Wave into the near future. D-Wave also came out with decent uh, projections uh, for the fourth quarter. They're saying their revenues are going to be a little bit higher than the third quarter. This is good momentum and it may lay the groundwork for some bigger things yet to come. So with that as the backdrop, let's take a look and see what we think about some of the fundamentals of D-Wave. All right, so D-Wave, we know that they have new processors, very powerful computing, um, market cap of roughly $620 million, give or take. Uh, stock price in the $2.70 range, um, which has rocketed up over 200% year to date. When you do look at the five year or really the two year or so, when you look at D-Wave since they just went public last year, you're looking at it's down 73% from when it went public. Understandable, a lot of volatility in the space, but they just faced the delisting pressures just in the last month because they had a stock that was trading under a dollar a share for a period of time. Back in compliance now, so how's the cash look? Well, they're showing $29 million of cash on the books as of the last close of, of business. Um, they have some debt. But they also have an ATM or an at-the-market facility that's available for them. And they do have $79 million available on their at-the-market cost. That just means that at management's or the board's discretion, they can tap this at-the-market vehicle and sell shares. I would expect that uh, D-Wave will sell some shares in the near future to bolster their financial position. Um, revenue and growth of revenue, about 6.5 million year to date. It's up, uh, what, roughly 10%. Uh, but there could be a lot more to come on that as there could be a shift that's starting to happen now with stronger, more powerful, faster computing needs to solve those complex problems. So revenue growth, it's a snowball, right? It starts off small and it gets bigger and bigger. Let's see what happens with that story. They also have an equity line of credits. Uh, I believe it's tapped at another $49 million available. So it appears that they have room to run 
and to keep themselves well-funded until they develop that customer base uh, and more and bigger things to come. I guess when you sum it all up, the future of computing is looking more and more quantum-based. D-Wave has a, a little bit of a different perspective on it, more cloud-based and more applications for solving those problems versus, say, a Regetti, which is installable and at a customer's location. Uh, the long-term tangible addressable market or total addressable market is huge. It's smaller now, but it's going to become massive. Projected, uh, you know, at 100 to 150 billion dollars over the next 10 years. There's a lot of room for a lot of competitors, and I think D-Wave is going to carve out its its share of that into the future. Remember, this is a very volatile stock, very volatile uh, industry. It's so small and it's just at the onset of being developed. So if you invest now, you're gonna feel a bit like you're a um, kind of an angel investor or a private equity investor, and you're getting in at the ground floor, which is kind of exactly why I'm doing it, to have just a little bit of a piece of the future in your hand today. So that's one man's opinion. Uh, let me know your thoughts. If, if you're into D-Wave or if you're thinking about getting into D-Wave and still are questioning it, I find it intriguing, exciting, and it's at the onset of something much bigger to develop. Hope that helps you. We'll talk again soon.